cancer has a huge impact on our society. Approximately 40% of all people will be diagnosed with cancer at some point during their lifetime. Almost 20% of all death in Turkey is still go, uh, caused by cancers. Maybe these are numbers that you can also figure out on your own. But what you probably don't know is that for about 50% of all known cancer types, the main responsible is the malfunctioning of only one protein, P53. Now imagine all these P53 molecules. They're like the guardians of the cells. They take care of the health of our DNA. But who controls their activity? Who watch the watchers? We discovered the protein, one of the proteins that controls P53 activity in cancer pathways. This protein is called PATS1. And besides regulating P53, it's also very important for cell growth in our immune system. And it's involved in several different cancers. PATS1 does all this because of the high potential of its structure to communicate, to interact with other proteins. Now, you have to imagine proteins like chains of smaller particles, like pearls in a necklace, that are organized in a 3D shape or structure, and they are mobile. What I do for PATS1 is to observe the structure and try to understand it. First of all, in order to see a protein structure, I need to induce some simple bacterial cells to produce this protein for me. Then, one extract and purify it, I leave it rest for some days in a solution. As the protein molecules precipitate at the bottom of the plate, they accumulate in some beautiful shapes that we call crystals. <coughs> then with a technique known as X-ray crystallog crystallography, we make use of extremely powerful beams of light to literally see to the smallest details how the protein structure looks like at the atomic level. Being able to see a protein structure makes it possible to study how it works and how um, it moves because its dynamics in space reveals the mechanism of action and how it can actually interact with other proteins. Finding the key interactions for PATS1 is my goal. And this will contribute to uh, understand how cancer develops at cellular level and how we can intervene to lower that impact of cancer on our society. Thank you.